Well, here we are again. Back out again on the Hampshire Haven for another uh, few hours pike fishing today. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've literally just flicked the rods out. It's looking unbelievable. It was a good old frost last night. So, any luck, we uh, might have some uh, pike activity today. Would be nice. I'm here until about half one, two o'clock. So, should be okay. Sort of flick things, move things around. Maybe go for a walk up the river there. This is quite a good little area, I think, here. I need to test this out a little bit. See how we get on. But it's looking absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? What a picture that is. Very scenic indeed. Anyway, I shall uh, up late, date you later on. See how we get on. And um, see what, tell you what happens, really. Right. See you later, folks. Bye-bye now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with that image because I think that's one of the beautiful images there is around here at the moment. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, thanks for watching as normal. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch my uh, videos. Take a look at my website, richardhandle.com. And uh, I shall catch up with you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Afternoon everyone, here we are down on the uh, fishing lake again after some carp tonight settled in this uh, little corner swim it's only the robin, beautiful sitting there setting off the rods we're just setting this little corner swim because it's fairly sheltered from the easterly wind the sun's been on it a reasonable amount of the day uh, Hopefully, might stand a chance of uh, catching a carp. I thought there's some clear signs of other people fishing. Been here, here before, so you see mainly the line hanging in the tree, which is a bit of a shame, really. I think uh, I need to get out and clear that sometime soon. Well, the sun is starting to go down. About half past three now. It's uh, looking quite uh, gorgeous and pleasant. I'll be getting myself a brew on and a bacon sandwich. Should be quite pleasant. And hopefully we might uh, bag myself a cart really. We're uh, just under the brolly tonight. We've got it quite low. There's a bit of wind coming in, but that's from the northeast. That's going to be behind us and over the top of us. So hopefully we'll be quite shoveled here. But there you go. I'm sitting on the bed now. I've got my rods quite close. There's a bait in the corner, not too close to the snags, but in that area. I don't really like fishing too close to the snags at night, you need to give yourself a bit of time. Um, I've got slack lines on, unfortunately the water level's up a little bit. I was having my rods back a little bit before. I'm back, sort of a bit closer to me really. They're uh, not exactly uh, level at the moment, but I never don't really worry about that. The fish can't tell whether your rods are level. Or anything, it's just more about uh, getting some slack line in, getting the bank stacks in as quiet as possible, not disturbing anything that's going on around here. And as I say, hopefully, we'll uh, bag a carp tonight and just see how we get on, really. Anyway, I shall catch up with you in the morning and let you know how we got on. All right, see you later now. Bye bye. Let you watch the sunset. I'm on the, on the, on the robin sitting on my rod. There you go. Very carpy winter, isn't it, really? Every calf angler seems to own a robin in the winter. Better get some pellet out and feed him, to be fair. A bit of bread and stuff should be quite pleasant for him. Right, catch up with you soon. Bye-bye now. guys very uh, uneventful night unfortunately did feel reasonably uh, confident here sort of something might uh, well happen as you can see it there's a blackbird rooting around in the undergrowth there a few broken boilers and things are put down to feed the wildlife last night 
Because at this time of year, they get a bit cold, don't they, the birds, so do that. I'm not sure how much of a frosty night it was. It's a little bit sparkly inside me, probably. I don't think it's generally that bad. Just have to see, we've got a nice sunny morning coming up. Unfortunately, I've got to be here. off home. I'll take the family out for a nice walk in the forest again, hopefully today. It's going to be a nice sunny one. Looking very nice indeed out there. So just have to see how we, uh, how we get on, really. Alright, I'll catch up with you soon, folks. Bye-bye now. Well, hello folks. I'm out after the carp again. The weather changing so rapidly over the last couple of days. The pressure dropping, the temperature going up. I think the forecast is saying it's about going to be about sort of nine, ten degrees at night. Unbelievable. I'm gonna go for my using my winter sleeping bag, using my summer sleeping bag again. Absolutely amazing. Hopefully I've set myself up in an area where I've seen fish. The last time the cold snap finished the fish were in this area and I'm hoping exactly the same this cold snap finishes the fish are in this area so I can position myself giving myself the best options possible really I'm only using one rod today so I'm going to be crashing and banging around it's a little bit of a tight swim because if you do catch a fish you really need to be able to sink the tip and pull into the fish and hold it it's quite difficult there's another rod on the rest so I just prefer to uh, fish with one rod fish for one take, I've only got four hours so it's not really going to make much difference and hopefully I might see some carp showing today I'll position myself back out here again tonight do the night and see where we go from there really fingers crossed I shall see something and fingers crossed I shall catch something today just have to see anyway, catch up with you soon bye bye now, thank you for watching Well guys, after uh, doing the night the other night, after doing my day session not catch anything, I came back and did the night. Had a couple of fish out, which is quite good. Nothing big, up to about 18 pounds. The um, blog and photographs will be out in a couple of weeks. But I've uh, come into a day swim, not too far away from the area where I caught the carp. Because the fish were clearly out in front of me. So what I've done is uh, I've sort of moved up along the bank. I'm sat in one of the day swims that's a bit flooded. And uh, I shall just flick them out in front of me realistically. Doing two rods. I've got one under the bush there. And one just out about two or three rod lengths out there. So the fish were clearly out there. I flicked a little bit of bait out before I left the other day. I thought I'd just come back and give it a go for a few hours today. I'm back down at the weekend hopefully. So... And this does, you know, this little swim just gives me a complete and utter view of the lake. It'll be interesting to see if, if I can see anything. But in general, fish actually sort of woke up after 11 o'clock at night. And I was here the uh, the other night, so whether I've seen anything during the day is uh, going to be interesting. But you just never know. You got to be here and you got to be in it to win it. So we are here. We're having a go. We shall see how we get on realistically. Um, just got two small bags on. Catalyst boy is all broken up. Soaked in their food dip the last sort of few days. Sort of grinded them up in a grinder. Put them in the bag. Bit of liquid in the bag as well. And just flicked it out. Both rods are on pop ups because the leaves and everything around here. There's not going to be a lot of chod on the wolf floor so got to be something I've got to do really I'll have to see how we get on really anyway I shall um, catch up with you soon I will uh, as I keep I do promise to actually put, put a bit of fish on the video really but I never uh, get round to it which is a bit of a shame there's a kestrel up there flying around I doubt you can see it actually too small I mean just about get it but it's up there it's just coming through the trees quite nice sitting here watching the wildlife go by Anyway, I shall um, catch up with you soon.
don't forget to subscribe it's worth putting comments and things on I don't mind that it um, gives you a bit of insights of uh, what you do and what you don't like what you'd like to see more of and things like that and uh, don't forget to uh, follow my blog it's uh, richardhandle.com anyway catch up with you soon now bye bye Hi everybody, welcome to my next video diary, I'm back out again for 24 hours this time, another Saturday night which is quite nice, unfortunately things will be contailing off soon as we're about two weeks away from Christmas, I've got uh, a lot of family things to do, people to visit, presents to deliver and all that stuff, a few Christmas do's and bits and pieces. So, the kids are off for two weeks, so it basically limits my uh, fishing down to nights. And obviously in the nights, or in the evenings, I'm supposed to be out doing other stuff, so we should just have to see how we get on between now and Christmas. I should be right for about the next five days, but then after that it's going to get a little bit uh, chaotic. But, I absolutely love Christmas, and it's even more fantastic when you've got kids. That's what it's all about. So, two weeks off fishing, two weeks playing around with the kids. Can't be a bad thing, can it really? It's always, uh, it's always good to have a break. Reset everything, get your mind back into it. Conditions are absolutely stonking at the moment. You know, nice southwesterly blowing. 14 degrees. Unbelievable. Considering it's well, 10th, 11th of December today. Absolutely amazing. So the conditions being this good any downturn is everyone's on the lake this weekend it's probably about six or seven people fishing mind you it could be partly to do with the uh, lead up to Christmas and also the fact that uh, the weather's so mild one of the reasons why I'm here so I can't blame them can you realistically I've um Everyone's basically up that end of the lake, out on the point that's over there. So at the moment, I've got the whole of this area to myself, which I'm quite happy about. They'll have, most of them will have probably done Friday nights, so one would have thought they might have had a couple. I didn't stop for a chat, because there's <laughs> clearly the amount of cars in the car park I needed to get into a uh, decent swim. I had about three to choose from that I quite fancied, which wasn't too bad. I sort of settled here after catching a couple of fish out of here the other night and hearing fish out in front of me. There's a second option, there was a swim along that bank along there which I very nearly went for I must admit. There's this borderline touch and go. It's more about the fact that I couldn't catch in open water last week and all I did was uh, catch one up the margins so up there which is where I've got one obviously the other rod is up along the tree line over there I'm going to do a bit of leading around later on and pick a spot out there a few balls of ground bait a few crushed boilies see how we get on over the night I'm going to give it to about one o'clock before I start crashing around and see how we get on really Oh, noisy seagulls as ever just have to see how we go so the last night I did the place came alive at night so I can only assume it's going to do the same thing I've just got to get the uh, fine tune the right spot for the second rod and uh, hopefully I shall be in business for a few fish just have to see how we get on anyway I shall catch up with you later on bye bye now I hope you've enjoyed it wait for part two Hopefully with some good news of fish. Well, well, it's part two of the trip. Morning all. It's been a uh, very uneventful night. Possibly partly due to the amount of anglers on here. Possibly partly due to the drop in temperature. 
possibly partly due to the amount of rain that came in yesterday. The sun is slowly trying to break through at the moment, I must admit. Looking, uh, well, decidedly uh, foggy and misty this morning and cold. Might have even been a frost, I'm not really sure. But, uh, sorry about that. Uh, refocusing, wanted to take a photograph, looks rather pleasant out there at the moment. Um, I've seen a couple of fish show this morning, so I've repositioned one of her rods to where they were showing. This is not too far away from my right hand rod, but I felt that uh, I just needed a needed to be a bit closer, so I've just done that one after it showed there for a second time. We'll give it another hour before I've got to be off. And hopefully we might bag ourselves a fish. Don't know really. Gotta uh, gotta try, haven't you? If you know what I mean. Gotta try. Anyway, I might do another update for a leaf because I have a feeling it's uh, gonna turn out to be a nice sunny day, hopefully. At the moment there is a lot of uh, a lot of fog around. Mist and fog as you can see if you look at the far side of the lake. Just sort of rolling around at the moment. But we'll have to uh, see what happens today really. Um, obviously I'm not here all day unfortunately. Got about another hour and a little bit left probably. That might be pushing a little bit too much. I did leave yesterday morning. I need to spend some time with the kids and family weekend so let's see how we get on so we another day and a night during the week so uh, I'll catch up with you soon thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe uh, comments are always welcome and uh, don't forget to catch up with my blogs on richnandle.com see you later now bye bye Well, I'm sticking to my plan, I'm trying to go pike fishing once a week. Here we are out for my uh, first trip um, for about a week and a bit. The weather's still mild, it's grey and overcast. The carp fishing seems to be uh, extremely slow at the moment, so I've got to continue my uh, efforts to try and catch a decent pike, break my PB, see how we get on. Fishing a nice mill pond at the moment, very snaggy over here looks quite nice we'll give it about half an hour 45 minutes here and then we'll move on to another area we'll just see how we get on really I've got one on a ledger and one on a float you see the floats down there in the distance sitting down there in that nice little corner there uh, the ledger's out there just on the edge of the flow and in the current and hopefully one of them should pick up a pike if not, we shall move on to the next spot and see how we get on, really. Anyway, I shall um, update you. This is the first spot of the day and we shall see how we get on. Alright, catch up with you at the next spot. Well, this is like the... Um, I think on the third. Um, yeah, I think it's the third, maybe fourth area. I think I might spend a little bit longer in this area because I think there's uh, interesting features around in this... Uh, area in front of the weir where the current's blowing blowing flowing there's plenty of options just to actually just dump a bait just down there there's got to be a few pike hiding down there I must admit it does tend to be to um, come down here with a, um, a float rod or even jigging for perch we're still along there might have to have a go I've never I haven't done that for many years I can't even remember the last time I went perch fishing. Probably with Rob back in Suffolk, crikey. But um, yeah, there's plenty of features in this area. Just have to see how we get on. No, no joy so far. It's a lot clearer than uh, anticipated it to be, I must admit. You know, if I sort of walk to the edge, which I don't really want to do. It's, uh, yeah, you can see down a good couple of feet, so. Need another good bit of rain really, getting a flood, get it a bit more murky. 
maybe after Christmas sometime you can see I've got more or less two weeks off of not doing nights not doing nights, not doing days really be there. I can do nights I don't know how many I do between Christmas and New Year quite enjoy the family time but I'm sure I'll squeeze a couple in over the two week period anyway I'll catch up with you uh, when I move through again and I'll catch a pike to be fair alright hope you enjoy loving the scenery it's rather pregnant isn't it really well here we are last hour last spot I think I feel I managed to actually get two rods out here pretty reasonable areas no real issues so I think it's uh, got to be the place to spend some time I feel and um, see how we get on really I'm going to make a quick drive around the car lake on the way back just to uh, check what's going on see where people are theory I'm actually coming back and doing the night tonight after the carp to see how we get on really but uh, wow not very successful so far apart from a uh, huge great big branch and loads of weed at the moment so uh, yeah but we keep battling on they're out here and uh, we'll get one anyway catch up with you later uh, thank you for subscribing don't forget to watch comments are most welcome and uh, FA equals more to remember see you soon folks bye bye now well this is definitely the last swim I thought the last swim was going to be the last swim but it wasn't uh, unfortunately I managed to uh, lose a pike straight away head shaking thing of about 10 or 12 pound would have been quite happy with that didn't get away with the bait so I'm hoping it's uh, still in the area feeling a little bit hungry not too put off by it's uh, two minutes on the uh, end of my line and uh, maybe there's some more in here you just never know we'll just have to see but uh, this is definitely the last swim I wasn't getting anywhere in the other swim no surreal signs or anything I've got about 40 minutes left now so we'll just sit here for the last 40 minutes and see what comes along and um, see, see where we end up really I nearly came here first thing this morning I'm probably thinking now I probably should have done and then I could have moved back up and done all the other swims later on but anyway we shall, we shall see where we go and uh, just maybe we might uh, get a, uh, a nice pike but uh, yeah I uh, don't need that do you I spent quite a bit of effort into this then we're going to go and lose one but hey that's fishing that's pike fishing that's the way it goes anyway catch up with you soon thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe check out my blogs on richardandle.com and um, we shall see you soon